Hello guys, and welcome to another Nintendo Switch Online Showcase video, and today they added three new games to the service, um, and two to the NES and one on the SNES, and overall, I, I would say they're pretty good additions, even though they're not really um, ones that I personally wanted, like Super Mario RPG or the mysterious Murasame Castle, but um, these ones are pretty good nonetheless, but... Um, let's go ahead and check them out. So the first one here is Mappy Land, which is the sequel to Mappy. I actually haven't played it. I have played the original Mappy, both, um, the original arcade version and then, um, on Namco Museum, which I'm pretty sure is pretty, basically the same, but, um, I did really like the original game, so I'm assuming this is somewhat similar to it. And I wonder if it also took inspiration from Pac-Land, because due to, the, like, the naming and everything, and it being, like, a platformer. So apparently this was only on consoles, which is pretty interesting. But I'm surprised, like, they're, um, only really doing sequels this time with Mappy Land and Dig Dug 2, because it would be interesting to see, like, the, um originals rather than the sequels. Though the NES versions aren't as good. Okay. So I'm gonna move on to this next area here. So yeah, overall this is pretty fun. Definitely better than a lot of the other really obscure games that they have. Because this one is actually, like, Mappy is fairly well known. And it's glad to have, like, a game like this on there. I did know about this game before, but I've never played it. So, yeah, I'm kind of glad that it's on the service. Like, it, it's kind of one of those games that you wouldn't think that they would add. Since it's like a, um third-party game rather than, like, one of Nintendo's first parties or anything, so. So, let's go ahead and check out, um, Dig Dug 2. I have played this game, because I have played it, um, as a part of Mam Namco Museum DS. Or I think that, I at least think that's where I played it. But basically, it's more of, like, a top-down version of Dig Dug, which is pretty interesting. It definitely plays a lot differently, but it, 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 it overall, it has the same concept as Dig Dug, so. Okay, yeah, you can also kind of, um, do that thing too, like, kind of, like, um, cut off a section of the land, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I believe I played the arcade version before, so the NES version's a little different. Well, mostly with graphics. Okay. But yeah, Dig Dug 2 is pretty good. I'm glad they added it on here. Though, um... There are definitely better ways of playing it. But yeah, anyways, that's, um, Dig Dug 2. I'm gonna go ahead and move over to the SNES library. Okay, so I'm on the SNES library here, and they added Earthworm Jim 2, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure why they didn't add the original. Um, I haven't played either of them, um, so I think it is pretty cool that they added it on here, because I, I did hear that Earthworm Jim was really good, and it it is fairly popular, so it is cool that they added it. I know it's a game that a lot of people wanted on the service, so I'm glad that they added it. I was expecting this game at some point, but um, I'm not sure when they would do it or if they would put it on the um, Sega Genesis Online or not, because they also have the um, Earthworm Jim games on there too. But yeah, I haven't actually played a, um, game an Earthworm Jim game before, so just kind of have to figure out what to do. But yeah, I heard they were really good, so um, I might get around to playing like this game in full sometime. Wow. 
But yeah, overall, this is pretty cool that they put this on here. Okay, so anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Make sure to check out my Discord server and Twitter if you want to. Goodbye.